This story honestly seems totally made up until you review the police report because the police officially kind of confirm much of what the family claims to be true about their haunting experience. And if that doesn't convince you, there's actually a movie adaptation called Veronica on Netflix, and they claim this is true too. So let's see what you think. In 1992, a police station in Madrid, Spain, received a frantic phone call from Maximo Gutierrez, claiming that he and his wife were being attacked by tall, shadowy figures. The responding officer didn't believe his initial claims, but decided to check it out in case it was an actual home invasion. There were no signs of forced entry, no signs of theft. In fact, the police noted that at first, the house was eerily quiet. They called the Gutierrez's back inside to talk to them now that, you know, the house was safe, you know, I'm air quoting. Uh, but as soon as they sit down to talk to them, they hear a loud bang out on the porch. The police described it as sounding like a large boulder falling and rolling along the ground. They run out to investigate, but nothing is there. As they stand there puzzled, one of the officers yells, Duck! just as an armoire door swings open violently, narrowly missing an officer's head. At this point, they think this could be some sort of prank, and they check the armoire, they're looking all over the place, there doesn't seem to be any strings or any way that this could be a prank, there's no one around. At this point, a couple of the officers decide that this is just too much for them, and they want to wait outside. The remaining officers go back into the living room to chat with the Gutierrez's about what the heck is going on with their house. When they sit down to chat, Mr. Gutierrez proceeds to tell the officers about the strange death of their 18-year-old daughter, Estefania, who had passed away just a few years earlier, and why they think that her death is actually connected to their house being haunted. Estefania went to a very religious school, and so when one of her teachers caught her and her friends using a Ouija board, she was really upset. The teacher runs over, she smashes the Ouija board, and tells them that this is not okay, they can't do it. But when she broke up the board, she destroyed the little glass planchette they were using to actually maneuver the Ouija board. And the teacher and the students that were there all claimed to have seen some sort of trapped smoke escape from the glass planchette, and it actually was inhaled by Estefania. Mr. Gutierrez claimed that from that moment on, his daughter's physical and mental health began deteriorating. Estefania started telling her parents about these strange people she kept seeing in the house, especially at night when she was laying in bed. There'd be these shadow figures that would come out of the closet, come in the door, and they'd crawl all around her room. They'd even grab her sometimes at night. Her parents brought her in for testing, and no doctor could explain what was wrong with her. And so without a diagnosis, the parents had to watch in horror as their daughter's condition just deteriorated dramatically until finally she just suddenly died in her bed one night and there was no official cause of death. Shortly after she passed away, her parents started to notice strange things happening in their house and they believe that is when the haunting actually began. As the parents are divulging this information to the police, they all hear screams and banging coming from Estefania's room. The police actually physically jump up out of their chairs. They're so frightened. The police and the father make their way over to the bedroom. They open it up and inside, no one's in there, even though the screaming continues. The crucifix that normally was mounted to the wall was in the middle of the floor. Where it was mounted on the wall were now these deep scratches dug into the wall that were not there literally probably 30 minutes earlier. The police continued to look everywhere to figure out where the heck the screaming is coming from, but they couldn't figure it out. As they're examining the room, they start hearing pounding in all of the walls. One of the police officers noticed that a picture of Estefania in that room had fallen on the ground, and he picked it up, and the frame itself was undamaged. But the picture inside the frame, which was of Estefania, had caught on fire and had burned through. Outside the bedroom, one of the police officers noted that a strange crimson-colored goo was present in some of the Gutierrez's furniture, an unfamiliar substance that neither the parents or any of the officers had seen since being in the house. Not knowing what to make of the situation, the police leave and suggest the Gutierrez's move out as quickly as possible, and ultimately they do, and they report as soon as they left that house, all of the paranormal activity ceased. The official police report is filled with extraordinary events that the officers present, which included the chief inspector of the police force, swore to have witnessed, leaving this case to be one of the most recent and eeriest unexplained cases in police history. And recently, this case was actually adapted into a movie called Veronica on Netflix, and people are saying it is the most terrifying movie they have ever seen. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and let me know what you want to hear next.